do you guys remember a video that we did like a month ago where we took a look at a tier list and we were like, is this the worst tier list of all time? Or is it just the very outdated tier list from three years ago for RTA only that they were claiming was a brand new Summoner's War tier list for everything in Summoner's War. It's like Antares, Triple S. It's actually the tier list on the screen right now. This is the thing that we're looking. This is not what I'm showing you in this video. It's just, by the way, they updated the uh, date for August 21st, which is not an uh, updated tier list. It's just that they keep updating the, uh, the date so it gets back up to the top of Google search. Fantastic. Not scummy at all. Anyway, today we're going to take a look at an even... Uh, brace yourselves, guys. Brace yourselves. We're going to take a look at an even worse... <laughs> I don't know how that's even possible. An even worse tier list for Summoner's War that is supposed to be current and relevant, and it is a PvE dungeon tier list, guys. It's a dungeon. I want you to brace yourself for this. Dungeon tier list, Summoner's War, PvE tier list from meta tier list, last updated July 25th, 2021. So it's, a, it's, a, it's about a month old, so maybe things changed in the past month. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see how, uh, well, I mean, wh what are we expecting? I'm expecting continuous damage teams, I'm expecting Tricaru. It is a PvE tier list. I'm expecting some good things for, like, uh, Rift Beasts. Let's see what's, um, let's see what we actually have. So this is S tier, the first, uh, the first tier right here. Okay, so we've got Bella. I mean, you could stretch it. <laughs> stretch it. Bernard, I don't know if it's, Bernard is the most, uh, S tier PvE unit right now. Um, Camila. I, I would just have to strongly disagree. Camille used to be able to... I mean, if you're even going from five years ago, Camille used to be able to solo some dungeons with godly runes, like dragons or whatever. But, um... Yeah, no? No? No. Okay. Uh, next we have Chasun, which everyone's running Chasun in their Dragons B12 and Necropolis. Because, you know, Chasun does all those fantastic things for PvE. I mean, there you could make some arguments like, okay, the Wind Rift Beast... Things like that. I get it. She's got attack power, whatever. She's got a heal. She's got lots of heals, right? But Chasun, S tier, all of PvE. Okay, we're off to a strong start. Colleen, I'll give you some Rift Beast. I'll give you that. I, Necropolis, I'll give you that. Okay, well, S tier, though? I don't know. Uh, so then we have Fran, Galleon. I mean, some of these are like beginner units. Galleon, people really aren't using Galleon too much in their... I mean, you could use... There are some dungeons where you use Galleon. For example, some things in the Dimension Hall, Galleon is very strong in. However, Galleon for S tier, maybe maybe a couple years ago, Hertite actually very good for uh, Rift Beasts, right? Lapis, uh, uh, Lauren, uh, make it. Uh, Lauren's okay. You could make things work with Lauren. Um, Lapis okay for, for but S tier, S tier. S tier. Let's continue. Lin, which hasn't been a thing for uh, quite a while, so this is... I mean, I would say this is an old tier list, but uh, <laughs> I don't know if this is... This is, uh, this is just the wrong tier list. It's not just old, because some of these, you think, maybe it's just old. It's not just old. It's, it's, it's pretty wrong. It's pretty wrong. Um, then we have... Okay, we have Mav. You know, for our, uh, for I was gonna say RTA for TOA, yeah, okay, you could math. Hey, some some Rift Beasts too. Math is actually better than you think for Rift Beasts because it gives uh, everyone access to their skill threes more, which is very strong. Uh, Megan, can we try <laughs> try to make Megan? Uh, I mean, if this was six months into Summoner's War. It's, if this was six months into Summoner's War, then we have amazing things like, uh, well, Sabrina and Talia, they are, they are pretty good for dungeons. Theomars! Okay, so I even had a problem with people using Theomars back in the day. He's not S tier. He's <laughs> a Guild War unit. Theomars was a Guild War unit, and then people figured out you could just easily counter him with, like, chilling or a million different other things. So, uh, Theomars is not... <clears throat> And okay, well, Vertiheal, okay, I'll give him Vertiheal. I'll give him Vertiheal. Vertiheal S tier unit. Still S tier unit, always S tier unit. Varad, S -t For TOA, yeah, S tier. Not for everything. Zaros, Zaros is more of a P. Who are you gonna cool down with Zaros? You're gonna cool down those, uh, those giants with 12 towers? Nice. Okay, Beretta, again, 
the TOA, 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 I'll, TOA, we'll give him some stuff for TOA, but that TOA is not, doesn't make it S tier. Like, what about TOA hard? What about TOA? Well, TOA hard, so some of these units are good for TOA hard as well. But TOA hell, I mean, there's like, no, no. Well, feel, feel more as being S tier in any tier list. Even back in the day, these were an S tier units. You couldn't even argue that back in the day, these were S tier units. Okay. So anyway, then we have, uh, let's see, A tier units. So we have a Hua, Izaria. Yeah, you, you know, she's really good at putting the, uh, the, 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 uh, the, I was gonna say Ender Dragon. The Dragon in Dragons of Ezoria. She's really good at putting him to sleep, so, um, right. Uh, Lydia is a PvE unit? Okay, uh, I don't know how we're gonna give that Lydia. Crow! Crow is A tier. Crow is great. I would put Crow in S tier. Not gonna put Crow in the S tier? Okay. Melia is only A tier, guys. Melia is only A tier, along with McCain, right? The unit that these are units that most everyone is building and using. I mean, Melia is, Melia is fantastic. Melia is S tier, is what I'm saying. Just in case that you need clarification, Melia is an S tier unit for uh, PvE right now. Uh, McCain is a what? She's a nothing. She's a nothing burger tier. Is there. A, Maybe they got the tears mixed up and they were like, eh, where's the nothing? You gotta... <laughs> Why? Wh Who is... They didn't... It's like they didn't even play. Okay, Pungbeck. Um, Pungbeck for... Is okay for, like, Steel Fortress. A tier for everything. Pungbeck is a PvP unit. <laughs> okay, Shannon, Rika. I mean, Rika's pretty solid. Should we give them Rika? Rika a tier, A tier is, yo, Rika's fantastic for TOA, TOA. We'll give him Rika, we'll give him Rika. Melia needs to be higher up here. Uh, Crow, in my opinion, needs to be higher up here. Pernas, Pernas, yeah, we're gonna say A tier, why not? We got Sylvia, we got the uh, little Tay Tay. Little Tay Tay's good. Tessarion! Tessarion should throw it right the hell up! Tessarion! Right, we gotta make sure we get Oblivion on the uh, Necropolis monster. To Sarah, what a what an amazing, not a PvP unit. What an amazing PVE unit here. Vela Jewel, Veramaz. Veramaz is actually pretty good. Uh, Water Homunculus, Wind Homunculus. Okay, those are actually pretty pretty accurate. Wusa is a crutch. Uh, people use Wusa as a crutch. Brandy is not bad. So some of these units are actually not bad. Annabelle, okay, it's like maybe Giants and Dragons. I have not, it's been so long since I've even tried to use Adavel in a dungeon team. That was a thing that people did years and years ago. Like, uh, well, you know, she's also, uh, she's also R5 and whatever. But, uh, but, but, but we'll, we'll, I'll be, not, we'll give him Adavel. Sure, we'll give him Adavel. Sure, we'll give him Sharp. Sure, we'll give him Brandy. We'll give him these things. Why not? Um, Veramoss makes sense. Water Monkey is actually a fantastic unit. Uh, both of these are good. Water Wind Monkey we'll give him these. Aria. I mean, for TOA, yeah, Aria. Okay, and then what, I mean, so basically for TOA, I'm trying to think of anything else that Arya is actually fantastic about. It's AoE, so you're gonna not gonna, you're gonna AoE sleep things in dungeons? What are you gonna do when you get to the boss? Arya's gonna be like, sleep! And the boss is gonna be like, no! I'm not going to bed! Oh, okay. Anyway, uh, what else do we have here? Eladriel, uh, super, super, <laughs> super meta. I mean, at least Delphoy's got it cleansed, right? Halfus. Well, hey, guys, how many of you are using Halfus in all your dungeon teams? He is A tier. Just, just, I, I, I want to see show of hands. How many people? How many people? Gemini's not even that good. I mean, trust me, I've used Gemini too. I've, I've tried to use Gemini. He's, in theory, he strips every turn, which would be great for things like dragons. Make sure you always get that strip. But uh, not not quite as, a, as, as effective in everything. <laughs> then we've got Ragdoll. Get old Ragdoll. You gotta make sure if you guys got Ragdoll, I'm sure you're putting him in all your dungeon teams, right? Ragdoll owners, such an easy time in PvE. They just put Ragdoll in all their dungeon teams. <sighs> well, this is only B tier, right? So, Vercon, of course, great unit for dungeons as well. Rocky, you know, prevents the revives on that. Uh, I'm not even gonna pretend. Should I even pretend that this is, is anything makes any sense at all? Shayna beats. I mean, you. Shane is actually usable in some dungeons, uh, like some dimension hole stuff as well, uh, and then also twins for Necropolis, twins for uh, some shit. But none of this stuff makes any sense. Well, 
that's pretty obvious, right? That none of this stuff makes any sense. Uh, Xiaolin makes at least sense. Xing Zhe. Give away. They just put a bunch of random things in a bunch of random places. That's that's all it is. Ornamil and Air. I mean, at least Ariel's more useful. God. This tier list is giving me diarrhea. I swear this tier list is giving me diarrhea. Zinc is at least you, you. They just put random units. The whole tier list. They just put random units and random units. How are you gonna say that? I mean, Xiong Fei's got some use, right? Xiong Fei's got some use. He's cleanse. He's good for R five, right? You put him in some other, uh, some other things. Mo eh, Rift the World stuff. You put a stick him fight runes on him. Uh, Kitten Dash is good for TOA. Artemiel is not a, a PVE unit. What? As an Artemiel owner, why? Uh, uh, um, that's my. That's my. Oh, we got a Ryan on here. Good that we have a Ryan on here. Uh, an Onyx and Fanaka because you know you want to increase the cooldowns on your. I, 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 I don't know. I think I've gotten stupider by uh, reading this tier list, and I didn't think that was possible. I know half of you watching are like, you can't possibly get stupider. Uh, <laughs> oh, here's the best part, is that, uh, oh, Susan O. Susan O is not, uh, is not pictured. Poor Susan. Uh, Spectra here in C tier. Spectra in C tier. What, see, this wouldn't have made, this is the thing, is this wouldn't have made sense in any, in any place. Like, years ago, nowadays, Spectra is fantastic, both of those. So, does not, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand. Then we got Hathor. Hathor's not a great PvE unit, okay. Huahi, Huahi's a fantastic unit for these Rift Beasts. Does amazing damage. Uh, uh, heal, and then a three turn attack power buff, and then big single target, because it's all random, but when you go to the Rift Beast, it's all big single target damage. So this shouldn't be, she shouldn't be in, nobody even made this tier, who's made this tier list? I think a cat made this tier list. He was like, meow, 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 meow. That's, that's who created this tier list. I am, I am completely, um, completely confident. Okay, then we have Bailiger. <clears throat> do you guys see, do you guys see when Bailiger is the D tier unit, you know that they are, Right on it with the meta. They like they they have their finger on the pulse of the meta, not their finger directly up their butthole. No, no, no. They have their finger on the pulse of the meta. They're sitting there reading Reddit every day to find all the new hot teams people are using. Bailiger, uh, he's garbage nowadays. Good old D tier Bailiger. These people did not pay any attention to anything at any point in Summoner's War. Okay. Uh, so fantastic. I mean, some of these units are genuine garbage for, uh, they should be in D tier. Savannah is amazing. Sav you, you use Savannah for so much. Savannah is an amazing unit. She should not be in D tier. You could use Savannah in, in a whole lot of PvE. A whole lot more PvE than you, uh, than you realize you can. Uh, <laughs> we have Tanzeit. Where? why is Tanzeit up here, but the other ones are, oh, Tanzeit's not as good as the other ones for PvE. I, got, I, 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 I don't even know. I honestly don't even know. Okay, so some of these units should be in garbage tier, right? Because they're not good PvE units. But, I mean, as soon as you see Bailiger and Savannah down here in Deej, I mean, regardless of Savannah, like, excuse me, maybe you guys think like Savannah's like, oh, I never use, I would never ever use Savannah in a dungeon. Okay, but Bailiger, I mean, the, the, the B in BJ5, what does that stand for? Barbara? <laughs> but good old Barbara R5. All right, guys. So uh, that's not the end of the video. Da, 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 da. There's another tier list. Actually, this tier list is actually not that bad. So I just want to give them credit. There was an actual person that plays Summoner's War. Angel Maravillion. There we go. Actually plays Summoner's War. Not all terrible tier lists on the internet are all terrible. Uh, can we make this a little bit bigger? That's what she said. No, we get gets messed up. Okay. So this one actually has some information. So, I mean, you could disagree that some of these are like, what is it? I think the 15 uh, best monsters in Summoner's War or something? 15 uh, Summoner's War best monsters right now. Uh, June 20. Well, at least that's not saying that it's like from this week, but at least these monsters make sense. We got Crow. Uh, we got some information on Crow Runes, we got Lauren, we got some information on Lauren Runes, Tyron, all good monsters so far. We got Rika, okay, she's hard to get, but great unit. Soth, wow, it's a picture of a 2A Soth. Oh, 
Lucian Sus Double Melia Tattoo is the current meta team for almost all dungeons. Wow. Someone actually knows. It's almost like they play the it's like they actually play the game. So let me give them uh, credit. There we go, tattoo. Wow, these are this is this is relevant. Someone actually plays the game. Vertiheel. Uh oh wow. Water Inugami. So shocking, right? So you guys are like, yeah, okay, we get it. Someone actually plays. So do we. Bagel, you don't have to show us a tier list that makes sense. It's not as fun when it makes sense, right? It's not as fun. Shung Pung, by the way, uh, I do believe that Shung Pung is a fantastic unit for many, many, many more areas of the game than you guys actually give him credit for. He's got that skill three, that uh, AoE decrease attack age, which is useful in dungeons too. It's useful in a lot of stuff. Uh, AoE defense breaks uh, skill one decrease attack age. Shung Pung is uh, way more useful in way more situations than uh, people give him credit for. Savannah, another one, another th not just PvP unit. Uh, great for PvE, another AoE decrease attack age. She got a strip with skill two. Ganymede. I mean, I don't think uh, Ganymede use him for everything, but you know, he's got an AoE decrease attack age. And also, also you don't know. Ganymede and Oberon, same thing. You don't ever know when they're going to do skill two. So that's the... <laughs> I was trying to do some nuke Oberon teams. Uh, Bastet is actually really good for uh, PV, uh, PvP, PvE, everything. Bastet can be used in everything. Fran, okay, I'll give them Fran. Uh, Ciara. Well, this doesn't say, this This was just the uh, best units in Summoner's War in general, right? It doesn't say, like, anything specific. And then Lucian, number one. So the list makes sense. Okay, so this list makes sense. GG, gamers decide. You actually put effort into this one. And you know the meta teams. Good job, gamers decide. Good job, Angel. That's her, that's her, na that's her actual name. I wasn't, like, that's not a pet name that I have for whoever made the list. But anyway, uh, that's it for this one. I just thought you guys get. I just thought you guys were gonna kick out of the the, the, the worst. Like the, it's not even again. It's not even that this was ever meta. It's that, like Theo. Mo oh my God, jeez, jeez, God. Like some of these units are just like, and also by the way, this was. It's not like it's super old because you have things like Savannah on here. So, and you have like the, uh, like this, so it can't be like a four year old tier list here, because obviously you have gargoyles, you have Savannah. They just stuck a bunch of random stuff in a bunch of random places. They're like, is it half right? That's all that it needs to be. Half okay is good enough for us. Anyway, that's it for this one. It's just here to be, uh, this is here for, for your entertainment and amusement and laughter. That's what it's here for. So, anyway, that's it for this one. Hope you guys got a laugh. I'll see you as always in the next one.